the Taliban is doing in Afghanistan. So, Tipu Sultan is an inspiration for them. If you name the first uh, terrorist, uh, there may be a competition between Tipu Sultan and uh, Aurangzeb, who is who, who is uh, uh, better or father of uh, terrorism. So, to that extent, he was a tyrant. So, there is no question of uh, accepting him as anything other than tyrant. But this, you know. Uh, you said the unresolved question. Actually, it is not an unresolved question. It is a fake narrative. I would say, no. This uh, this country has seen a lot of fake narratives for the past. You know, since independence, it's throughout there have been fake narratives and fake narratives and only fake narratives. And this is one of it. Some vested interests are interested in uh, making the hero, and he was he was a typical jihadi. His his father was also cruel, but I would say his father was uh, not typical jihadi to that extent. He was less educated, so it was better for him. You no, know, the more more one gets educated, the more radicalized he becomes. Nowadays, you can say throughout the world, the biggest uh, terrorists are the highly educated ones. Those PhDs, doctors, engineers, and all. The less educated, less radicalized. So that was the case with Tipu Sultan. He was more. Educated father wanted him to be educated. He got educated in such a way that he became completely radicalized. So he was ten uh, times or hundred times more hopeless than his father, more right. cruel, more uh, tyrant. And uh, you know it's a typical uh, madrasa education what he got. And typical madrasa education will teach you right from that day till this day. It teaches only one thing: those who don't believe in Allah are the Enemies, enemies of Allah. They have to be killed. They have to be eliminated. They have to be destroyed. And that's that's what he did. It. And whoever are uh, highlighting him today are the vested interests. Maybe in a Congress is interested in highlighting him to some extent. Maybe as a vote bank, uh, or maybe they want to divide the Indian society so that they get their political uh, mileage out of it. So some vested interests are highlighting him. 